this back to school week and right now we're talking about going green. Could your kids learn a little bit about helping the environment as you shop for school supplies? Brett Blumenthal is the best selling author of 52 Small Changes and she's got a couple of small changes right here that you can make in the daily routine of your kids. Exactly. Back to school is a huge shopping time. Of course. And so it's a great time to teach your kids to reduce, reuse and recycle. And lunchtime is a great place to start. I like talking about lunch because I'm hungry by the hour. So <laughs> let's talk about, you've got some this different bags This is your lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, this is Kids Conserve. They offer some really great products. You basically are looking for lead, BPA, and phthalate-free materials. Uh, so they have stainless steel food and uh, beverage holders. They All their products are made with 100% recycled content, uh, plastic bottles and cotton. So they're really safe and, and good for your kids. And there are a lot of other great products on the market as well. Yeah, and it tells you actually this is kind of fun too for a kid who wonders how is this made. It says right on here, I am made from a plastic bottle. <laughs> now a sweat free ice pack. Oh, so that's an ice pack. That's interesting. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And, you, and basically whatever the material is they use for the ice pack is non-toxic, which is great. And instead of going through a bunch of little throwaway plastic baggies, there are some options there for snacks too. Right. These can be washed. Um, actually, all of these things can be washed. So you just stick, you know, stick things in here and you get them home and you run them through the... Rinse out the cracker crumbs. That's right. All right. What about, what do we have so here? So here we have activities and uh, arts and crafts. Uh, basically, you want to look for non-toxic options. This is one of my favorite. It's called Blob and it's paint made with fruits and vegetables, spices, and flowers. Wow. So not only is it non-toxic, but it smells great. And it's called? And it's called Blob. Which is just fun. <laughs> <laughs> Who, what kid would not like something called Blob? Uh, these are wiki sticks. They're yarn infused with uh, uh, wax. So basically, they are reusable quite often. You don't have to replace them very quickly. OK. And this I love. This is called the One World Football. And it doesn't need to be reinflated. It's pretty much indestructible. I want to feel it because the material is interesting to me. It doesn't, you know, feel Do you, as you play soccer? Um, Come on, no, that's, that's, uh, that's all uh, Shannon. Shannon's I didn't play soccer, soccer player. either. This is, this is me playing soccer. Sarani, you can't pick it up. No, I was terrible at all. It things feels sports. like a soccer ball. Yeah, and it, it, it's really firm, and what's great is it reduces waste because you're not re, like replacing them constantly. Yeah, it, and it, it feels a lot lighter. So for someone like me, you're like hmm. I could actually kick that. You can hold that. <laughs> no, let's not knock over the display. This isn't bowling. Um, as far as school supplies go, you've got some uh, recyclable, 100% uh, recycled notebooks here. Exactly. This is the area where you can really find a lot of great recycled options. So Mead has come out with, as well as other companies, have a lot of great 100% recycled content notebooks. Uh, this I love. These are come from Castle Inc. And these are basically reused, recycled ink.